hello, or should I say buongiorno. Today I'm stood outside Agrigento Centrale and this is such an opportunity today. I cannot believe I'm here. Um, never in a million years would I thought I'd get a chance to experience European railways. Um, I have no idea what's in store, but for this video, I hope you enjoy it. I know I will, and welcome this time to a down the line Sicily special. <laughs> Looking around already, I have to say I'm, I'm, I'm speechless. Um, so this station, first and foremost, was built in 1933 and it's managed by Trent Italia. Um, there's a sister station, however, called Agrigento Basso, which was opened in 1874. I'm not going to get a chance to explore that one today, but that just gives me all the more reason to come back with my you know, second family and then we can um, get on from there. But no, there's a train due to come in very shortly, um, so it's just going to get nice and get a few shots and just see what there is around here. I must say, the architecture here is absolutely stunning. What a station. This was my first time to Sicily and I have to say, I was incredibly impressed. The scenery, the architecture, everything about this place is absolutely stunning and I can't wait for you to see more in this video. So, let's talk about Agrigento. This station is the line to Palermo, which is in North Sicily. Um, up to 13 trains per day, with a route time of around one hour 55 to two hours and one minute. Um, Price-wise, however, not too bad compared to the UK prices, which is an absolute rip-off. Um, so here, for the two hours journey, it is nine euros and 90 cents, which is about eight pounds 60 pence in sterling. Um, and you know what? Next time I come, that's the route I'm taking. So keep your eyes out. We'll be doing that journey at some point. A couple of things I just want to mention to you. There's apartments above the station building, and where do you find that? For me, if I had the money, I'd be living exactly right there. And also, just to look across, you can see the lovely Mediterranean Sea. So that's a brilliant station, brilliant architecture with brilliant views. So, in terms of the departures here, it's only one per hour. So the frequency here is not extremely busy. But however, we've seen some and you've seen some, so happy days. Um, a quick mention on the locomotives here, however, they remind me extremely a lot of the ones that I've seen before in Amsterdam, um, which I will be returning to in May. So that will be a video for you to see. After only being around for a short period of time, I quickly discovered that this area was packed full of railway history. With plenty of old disused lines and stations, this area has a lot to explore, and as I said before, all the more reason to come back. It's just a case of when. So, for you eagle-eyed viewers, 
you would have noticed it says five platforms, but there's only four numbers. And the reason is there's no number two, reason being after speaking to one of the station staff here, um, that platform back in about 20 odd years ago would never have been used. Um, so they just got rid of it. Um, it's part of services and it obviously helps them cost. The differences well. between here and UK stations are obvious to see. The colours complement the brightness of this fantastic station and the quaintness becomes a key feature and adds to the history and age of this area. And for me, it would be nice if we had more of this back in the UK but that is the key difference between different areas. They have their own style and they stick with it throughout. Definite contrast between north and south here, but all the more reason to explore.